Hello, everybody. I'm David Bayada, the CEO here at Bayada Home Healthcare, and today is Thursday, March 26th, episode three of our CEO daily update. Each and every day, the situation escalates. More people are testing positive, the hospitals are more overwhelmed, and everything is pointing to the opportunity for we at Bayada and those of us as home care professionals rise to the occasion to help people get out of the hospital safely, and for those that are infected, to take care of those at home and keep them safe. And you know, when I think about this challenge I, uh, and, and really the opportunity that we have ahead of us, it really starts with our collective need to keep ourselves healthy. So if you're a nurse or a home health aide or a social worker or a manager or supervisor, whether you work in accounting or in clinical practice, if we're not healthy, we can't come together to take care of those in need. And so it sounds so simple, but I come back to the key action of excellence here in the Bayada way, which is, and says, consistently demonstrate the highest level of skill, competence, and sound judgment. And I tried to describe to my kids yesterday at the dinner table what sound judgment really means when it comes to staying healthy. And they didn't get it. And I realized I'm having a hard time explaining to people why, why and my kids specifically, why they need to wash their hands 100 times a day and why they can't go to the playground while they're home from school. And so I decided to invite our chief medical officer, Dr. Adam Groff, who's also the president of our hospice practice, to join me today to explain in simple terms how each and every one of you can keep yourselves healthy so that we in turn can get out there into the community and keep our clients healthy. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, David. I'm happy to try to explain to you so that you can explain to your kids. But the way to think about it is that coronavirus, COVID, spreads from person to person. Most of the time, the way it spreads is through actually touch. So it's when we touch a surface that might have virus on it, and then we touch our face or we eat something, that's how we get it. And if one person gets it, then three people can get it, and nine people can get it, and it just spreads and spreads and spreads. And so the right behaviors can stop the virus from spreading and stop you and your loved ones from getting sick. So the most important thing to do is wash your hands. And the reason is, is that the virus is killed by just regular soap and water. So if you're washing your hands every time you're going out to the playground, going to the grocery store, before you eat, spending 20 seconds and really lathering up, you're gonna kill the virus and you're not gonna get it. The second thing you'll hear about is called social distancing. And what this really means is don't be in crowded spaces with a lot of people. And so the, what the recommendation is today, don't be in a crowd of more than 10 people in a small confined space. And as much as you can, stay about six feet away from other people. And so that if they were to cough, all those droplets would go to the ground and not land on you. The third thing is to think about if you have symptoms of fever or cough or shortness of breath, get away from everybody. Go into your room, stay there until you're feeling better. You may or may not want to get tested in case you, know, you want to go back to work, but the most important thing is to isolate. And then the final thing is just be smart at work. So one of the things we've learned is that healthcare workers are more likely to get sick at home than they are at work. The reason is, is at work, you're paying a lot of attention, you're washing, you're using personal protective equipment. So be smart at work. You know, use your personal protective equipment, wash your hands, make sure that you um, clean your clothing when you, uh, you know, after you go home. You do those things, wash hands, social distance, uh, isolate when you're sick, and then be smart at work, you're gonna be good. That's great. Words from the good doctor. Thanks, Dr. Groff. So remember, focus on keeping yourself healthy. It's, it's hard when you're at home and you're around your family and your family's feeling all isolated at home inside the house. It takes a lot of discipline. Keep yourself healthy so that we can keep our clients healthy. We'll see you tomorrow.